Um, you're just clapping or whatever. But so. All righty, welcome back to Son of a Boy Dad podcast. Yes. Today it is Monday, October 17th. Some shit like that. Does it matter? Does it even oh, really? It's the 16th. See? I would have okay. thought. Well, that changes everything. It does. Well, no. I guess the 17th. We just get another extra day in life, brother. Yeah, that could be a good thing or a bad thing. Here we were thinking it was the 17th, let a little bit know. So that we were one step closer to that sweet release of death. <laughs> to snapping the mortal coil that keeps us tethered to exactly. this globe. As some of you guys may know, the Eagles are no longer a defeated <laughs> football team. They are a poverty franchise. Frauds who have been exposed in one of the worst ways I think I've ever seen in my short time. What being the fuck are you talking fan. about, dude? First off, you're an <laughs> one Eagles of the worst fan, lo- dude. One of the worst losses you I've ever seen. You can't go and seen. switch sides and ever fucking seen. Nadu laugh into the camera as soon oh, as they lose. I was lose. crying laughing when they lost. Did you see Nadu's, uh, him no. laughing? <laughs> he just went Eagles and went, ah! <laughs> And when he laughs, his like tongue bounces, yeah. dude. Oh, it's yeah. so vile. I think his whole body probably bounces. I can't believe that he did this, but he's no worse than you. You're no worse than him fucking oh, traitorous great. to the franchise that <laughs> made you a football fan how is he not an eagles fan he is i don't know i don't know he just likes to see he just he wants to see the world burn yeah when you're going through a tough time it's always better when other people are going through a tough it time is too. it is when other people are failing and doing terrible but i mean the fucking patriots are losers too yeah mac the jones the is a fat fucking loser dude well he's not fat within but three years we're gonna see him on 600 pound <laughs> like fucking smuggling fucking dominoes under his fat roll he really is the worst quarterback in the nfl i did buy drink- his i bought his jersey last night because <laughs> you know you gotta something's gotta change and i don't know if he needs more support or what but I got his jersey. It was bit. I mean, I like I you're said, a loser too. Like man. I said earlier, they. I mean, they played as better than they've ever played. That was like the best Patriots game all season. That's how I could tell that you're you've reached the depths of fandom. That you're <laughs> oh, no. you're trying to justify a fucking shitty loss for the worst team in football to be like, oh well, they actually tried really hard. They did. They played their asses off. Eagles it's not. It's not Mac Jones's fault. I mean, dude, he's got no offense. What can he do? He can't lead the team with no offense. Hundred percent his fault. His yeah. BMI is like in the eighties. <laughs> no, no way. Why are you saying he's fat? He's not fat. He's gross and fat. No way. Have you ever Mac seen Mac J? Him? Have you seen him with his shirt po- popped off? Mac J squats six hundred pounds. <laughs> No, he does not. <laughs> Jalen Hurts squats 600 pounds. Jalen Hurts is a legitimate winner. We're All still they, the they love number bringing up how much Jalen Hurts squats. And it's fucking sick. It is. It's impressive. His fucking ass is like the Vegas cube or, or whatever that fucking the orb in Vegas. Dude, he I, heard, a I heard two of squats 650. No, he doesn't. We'll see you this week. <laughs> that's going to be a good game. Actually, you'll probably be a Dolphins fan by fucking Monday. Oh, I already am a Dolphins fan. Yeah, you're yeah. A, that's my team now. Well, I have bad news I for you. I ordered a Tua jersey last night. No, you're going to look horrendous in those colors. <laughs> you think you can wear teal and orange, dude? Save it for the olive skin oh, brothers. brother. Save it for the Cuban dissidents who <laughs> flee during the Bay of Pigs. Dude, you oh, can't man. fucking pull that shit Poverty off. Poverty franchise exposed. <laughs> no, dude. Hold this L. No, it's going to be you, Frank the Tank, and I Nikki was in Smokes. the comments. I was on the Eagles comments from Burner accounts. What do you mean the Just Eagles po- comments? I was, I was replying the to, the final score, to the final score post. The live chat on Stream East. <laughs> I love reading those comments, dude. I was in tears laughing. I was just sending Mook and Gardini just screenshots of Mook's the comments. A, Mook's a fraud. Mook's a fraud? Mook was tailgating at the Bears game. In Bears gear. Was he in Bears gear? Yes. No, he wasn't. Look at Danny Conrad's story. He told me that he went to go buy a Bears jersey and he was like, I couldn't do it. Yeah, because he already had a shirt on. He he couldn't fit it over all the other Bears gear he had. That's crazy. He couldn't do it because they literally, he was oh, at the legal exposed. limit of, he's big time exposed. I mean, talk about a poverty franchise. Oh yeah, the Bears. The Bears may agree. as well play on a high school fucking, they play on a high school field with bleachers. Yeah, it is terrible. They have cheer, none of their cheerleaders are even male. No. That's how fucking poverty exactly. they are. Exactly, that's, that's as poverty <laughs> The great gets. franchises have fucking spunky male cheerleaders that fucking snap that thing. I mean, it is crazy that the Jets are probably going to win the Super Bowl. People are calling for Carson Wentz to get back on the Eagles. I'm going to strangle the Jets' coach. <laughs> He's well, like, I mean, dude, we've you, embarrassed every quarterback we've faced. They have, their only wins are against the Jets or against the Bills and the Eagles, right? Yeah. That's pretty impressive. And uh, they, they shut down Patrick Mahomes pretty much. They did. 
Well, Patrick Mahomes is a fraud. They're fucking losers Poverty too. franchise. But those losers needed it fucking <laughs> as much as anybody. The fucking Jets needed it. The pa- the, what happened with the Patriots-Jets game? Patriots won. Did they? Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's their so only Patriots win the beat the Jets <laughs> yeah. and Jets beat the Eagles. Exactly. Patriots must Patriots be the, must, could beat the, the associated Eagles, no property. Patriots almost beat the Eagles week one, right? No. It is tough, though. I don't think the Eagles are as good as they were last year. That doesn't mean it's season over, but we haven't had the perfect injury luck that we oh, did shit. last year. We're getting, it looks like we're getting a call. Who's that? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I love it. I love the comments. They're so funny. Y'all lost to Zach Wilson. Is it hurts or the team question mark? What happened? Imagine losing to Zach. We own you. Us Jets fans. We own you, dude. I got a Zach Wilson Jersey last night too. No, I really did get a Mac Jones jersey and I'm pumped for it to get here. Jets fans are all dudes that like fly to Vietnam for a single day and like bang as many like she male prostitutes as they can. <laughs> yeah, that is. That's actually pretty accurate. They're fucking uh first off, they're they're like they try to find fentanyl. Like they don't want Percocet. <laughs> they want fentanyl. They want to get as close as they can. And second of all, they fly to Vietnam and they say it's for airline miles, but it's really to fuck uh, males who have their penises tucked in between their legs and their butthole. I would fly to they Vietnam for airline miles. And then I would probably fuck some she hems as well <laughs> out there. We I mean, when in, when in Nam, you got to. No, we can't talk about uh, we can't talk about airlines anymore. Why? Oh, people are getting mad. I don't know if they're getting mad, but. But most people have never been on an airplane like me and you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> most people in the world have never tasted the sweet fucking taste of <laughs> first a Biscoff class. cookie. Yeah. <laughs> of of a small bag of uh of mini of mini sun chips. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Peanuts and fucking round pretzels. They don't know. It's not relatable anymore. No, it isn't. We gotta talk about fucking real life things like fast food and fucking yeah, no. getting into the domestic audience disputes. More. Yeah. We really were breaking it down just ten minutes ago before you got here. Me, Tommy, and Francis were talking about the miles. Yeah, I bet. It's a it's a fucking trap, dude. It's a trap that they're setting for us. They want us to only talk about the miles. What can you do, man? I'm going to run up into Delta and I'm going to do some nasty things if they don't get their shit straight. They better. Yeah, it's going to be like Charlie Headbow all over again. <laughs> <laughs> well, how was your fucking trip to Chicago? It was fine, dude. It wasn't anything crazy. Why'd you have to do 20 shows out there? Because it's a small room. It's only 140. Why don't you put it in a bigger room and do less shows? That's what I said. <laughs> I said the exact same thing. Why don't you just I said, have why everybody don't we just out? do a normal weekend at a different club? Yeah. They're, they're slaving you. But it's fun. It they're, was good. Yeah. A lot of stage time though. Eight hours of stage time in a week is uh, an good overwhelming God. amount. Yeah. That's I was fucking toast by the end. Yeah. Just absolutely gassed. Couldn't say the same jokes over and over again anymore. How many shows was it? Eight shows? Yeah. Jesus Christ, dude. Yeah. I did some new stuff though, which was fun. Wow. That felt, sounds fun. Felt productive. Dang. Where did it come from? Now on the bright side, I only have 25 shows in the next week in New York. <laughs> <laughs> You'll probably get better really fast though. Yeah. Probably. There was people in this office that were like worried for you being out in Chicago. Why? People were coming up to me being like, you're spending a lot of time out there. Oh my God. Really? Dude, I was out there and I was like, I would never, (laughs) never. Dude, talk about a poverty franchise. (laughs) Chicago's office. They are struggling out there. I don't know if you watched the yak. I asked if they had tea and they like lost it on me. Everyone was like, why the fuck would we have tea? And I'm like, dude, tea is like the most popular drink on earth. Yeah. And there's like, we have like 20 different varieties of tea here. Tea is so accessible and it costs so little. It's so cheap. You need a small bag of it and you could like, it's the loaves and the fishes. You could feed thousands of people tea with one small bag. I had a sore throat and I wanted some tea and they acted like I was nuts. So then I was like, all right, I guess I'll have a coffee. And then we have exclusively kielbasa. (laughs) And not even, they don't even have like an English breakfast tea. (laughs) Pretty standard. They have that everywhere. I have that in my apartment. I don't even drink it. (laughs) <laughs> it's just like one of the first things I bought. I was like, I guess I'll have some tea. They only have like the uh, pubs uh, size container of snack mix. <laughs> <laughs> the bar mix. Yeah. All yeah. they have is a massive bar mix. That you put it in a little ashtray and you set it on the table. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I, I, I made a coffee and then I'm like, all right, where's the cream at? They, we're like, we don't have cream. And they're like, we're moving offices in a week. And I'm like, dude, isn't this like a billion dollar company? We can't, we can't swing the $3 of cream twice. 
They're <laughs> like, well, we're not going to splurge on cream because we're moving next week. Didn't Penn get rid of us because we built a Chicago office? I don't know. <laughs> that was It was crazy, though. No, I'm joking. They're struggling out there. Though. But it, well, it costs, costs so much money. And every time I go to that office, I feel like I'm in the way. Oh, yeah. I because like you I are. I nowhere to stand. There's nowhere to go. I feel like a big in the way guy. And uh, I don't like it. But I think uh, eventually they'll be opening up this new office. They're saying next week. <laughs> Holy fuck. Priority shows are going over. I don't know why I envision it this way. I envision it like a fucking like a half open dollhouse diorama where yeah. it's just going to be a basketball court and like no walls and all the fucking studios will be packed up like Hollywood squares. Yeah. Like everyone's going to be on top of each other, like lit up. I don't know why I see it like that in my mind. I don't know what I see it like. I, I, I don't picture... I don't know. I, I, like how big is the office? It's got to be fucking huge. It's got to be like the set of Hollywood Squares probably. Yeah. This would be my guess. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever watch Hollywood Squares? No. Bro, it was a never great show. Never even heard of it. To be really? Honest. Yeah. What? Yeah, I'd never heard of it. How is your frame of reference not exactly the same? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? That blows my mind. Did you hit any steakhouses in Chicago? No, dude. I was pretty sick. Damn. Still am a little under the weather, but nothing crazy anymore. So you couldn't go to steakhouses? Connect the dots there for me. No, I didn't go to any steakhouses. All I really did was went to the office, came home, would sleep for like three hours and then go do the shows and then go home and sleep more. What were you eating? What, how are you feeling your temple? Bad. Yeah. A lot of flatbread pizza. Zanies Yikes. microwave flatbread pizza. Yikes. Yeah. That's bad. Yeah. That fucking breaks my heart, dude. I'm pumped to be back in the city, though. I know. Very happy to be back. We should uh, go and get like a team meal, like how all the other podcasts do. I know. We should. Yeah. Where would you want to go? Ruth Chris. <laughs> <laughs> if you can find me a Ruth's around here, I would kill for that. <laughs> oh, no, we can't go to Ruth's Chris. <laughs> Why? Is that actually nice? Or is it? I've been there with you. I know. We took it for you because we you, we knew you didn't know the difference between good and bad. <laughs> <laughs> we should go to that fucking uh, place that we went for my birthday. Fort Charles? Yeah. Ooh. That I mean, place is nice. That place is hard to get a uh, reservation at. I'll talk to some people. Yeah? Yeah. Who are you going to talk to? The, Louis. the hostess. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Please. Please uh, let us in. Please. We need this badly. Our camaraderie is low. <laughs> <laughs> we need a team building exercise. You know who needs a team us. building exercise? Shut the fuck up, dude. <laughs> fucking I don't want to fucking dude. hear it, dude. We're going to come at... We'll, we should Absolute schedule a scrimmage frauds. against the Patriots just to slap them around. Frauds. Get our confidence back up with your Poverty fucking... franchise. Bro, the Bills almost got smoked last the night Bills by the Giants, dude. Bills had a pathetic Bills performance last losers. night. The fucking... Uh, Win's a win. The the, uh, wins a win we were honestly we were just trying to see how well our defense could hold us up no you have the opposite of the Midas touch. that was like that that game was kind of like a test to see like if Josh Allen does get hurt we can still win any team you start rooting for fucking turns to shit dude stay away from the Phillies do me a favor <laughs> alright oh. you know fucking jinx them in short order the Phillies are an absolute fraud as soon as you franchise. started caring about football Bryce the, Harper's out for the fucking season <laughs> the Patriots it hasn't been sucking. announced yet <laughs> elbows fucking turned to dust absolutely not that man has a bionic elbow he could people he could fucking people's elbow the fucking earth's crust and it would shatter that's true create a tsunami that would engulf the entire globe a lot of frauds were exposed this week colorado was exposed frauds 49ers were exposed frauds eagles frauds isn't even the right word to use for so that who's, team. The, who's the best team in the league the Jets, probably. Well, but the, <laughs> no, the Jets lost to the fucking... Uh, the Jets had a slow start to Jets the season. Lost to the it Chiefs. happens. Lions, yeah, they had Lions a slow might start. be best team in the league. Lions beat the Chiefs. Yeah. Lions are 5-1. and one. The Chiefs lost last night? No, no, the Chiefs played on Thursday. Yeah, they won on Thursday. Yeah. Just talking fucking ball. As soon as you saw... The NFL will probably start to implode now that you love it. Yeah, hopefully. Everything you touch fucking crumbles. Yeah. Like the Holy Grail. Ideally. <laughs> that was pretty much it though. I just watched a lot of ball yesterday. Ate some wings. Dry rub? No. Nah. Hot. I fucking love a dry rub. Hot buff. Yeah. Pretty standard. Some sloppy ones. Sloppies. A couple of slobs. <laughs> What's a slob? Just a sloppy wing. I hate a sloppy wing. Love I think I'm dry wing. rub only now. Yeah. 
I, I would much prefer you don't a dry have time rub. Hands to get all messy. I just like a dry rub better, even if it's like a little bit, like I, I just like a little peppered. Like I don't want to. The fuck dry me. rub is good. Last time I had a dry rub, I had a cold sore on my mouth, and it fucking just attacked the cold sore. Not a good feeling at all. <laughs> you didn't care though. But I think that regular hot not. sauce would have done that too. Yeah. Have you ever worked in a restaurant that makes wings? No. Or have you ever made wings at home or anything like that? Have I you ever did, tossed yeah. your own wings? Yeah. It's just like you're making you're mixing butter and hot sauce to make wing sauce. Yeah. It's fucking nasty. Yeah, it is. It's a little gross. It's gross. Dry rub is good. A dry rub is significantly more defined, manly. Very manly. Yeah, it's like an old west. You go in and fucking get in a shootout and then have some dry dry rub wings or some shit like that. I would kill for some some DRs. I went to fucking. Uh, <laughs> did you guys go to Fred again? Yeah. You went too? Yeah, I went on uh, Saturday. <laughs> oh, shit. Team building exercise without me. I see how it is. <laughs> we all went a separate day. Or they went Saturday, right? Or you guys uh, went, uh, I went Friday? The day didn't rain. Yeah, we went in the rain. Friday. Yeah, yeah. Shit. It was, was it fucking like cool gnarly. Hell? Oh, shit. How was the concert? It was That was cool too. Yeah. We had a cool concert in Tennessee. Was, was it was, big? That was very cool. Uh, it was pretty big. Yeah. It was, uh, I mean, it wasn't as big as, like, we played at a festival. It was the last show. How we many heads? Before that. It's hard to say. Probably a couple hundred. Nice. Wasn't bad. That's awesome. Yeah. I mean, your manager would have had us there eight days in a row, bro. <laughs> a couple hundred heads back to back to back to back Probably. to back to yeah. back to back. Yeah. He would have fucking wore us out. But it was dope to go down there. But the guy was spooking me out. He said he bought this bar in uh like probably like 20 30 years ago and for the first four years he couldn't uh couldn't afford to pay for it he was sleeping in a hammock and he said when he bought the building hammock life there were these fucking he said he, when he bought the building there were there was a serial killer that had deposited fucking like 53 bodies in like the water heaters of the place and he said for like the entire time that he would sleep there in the hammock he would just see chairs go sliding across the room he said it with like a straight face like just dead ass and was just like well like on my way he was like look it up like the hog's breath murders or some shit like that like it's haunted extremely haunted i thought you didn't believe in that shit i mean he was this guy said it so matter of factly that uh i had to have i had to have my guard up Fucking that's horrifying one. there's 50 bodies buried in that place he said they were they were in like a fucking like cooling tank or some shit like oh. that that they were stacked in there that's like the fucking that did you watch the documentary about the cecil hotel uh -uh. where the girl disappeared and then they found her in like the water tank above the hotel oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah i did see that and they have no idea how she got in there i know what happened <clears throat> um um a man raped her and put her in there and put her in there yeah. probably yeah. realistically that's definitely what all all murders are, are related to yeah doing nasty things. Did you watch that uh, documentary about the, the uh, like what the fuck it was? It's like a haunted house where you, it's like $20,000 reward. If you can get through the haunted house, no, it's fucking gnarly. They like scare the shit out of you. They like no. won't let you quit. They're like, they'll basically you have to sign a waiver saying they could like rip your teeth they out, touch shave you your head. Shit. They can yeah. fuck you up. They can like try and drown you and shit like that. That it's, doesn't really sound like a haunted house as more as it sounds just like a fucking, <laughs> Like a, a real escape room. Yeah. They like are fully torturing you, but I don't think you get to <laughs> yeah. escape. They'll like tie you up or like put you like blindfold you right Where away. Where is this? Can't be in America. It's in America. Really? It's a guy that goes like state to state, like uh, bending the legality of it. And they'll like outlaw him in one state and he'll go somewhere else. But it's still like Has live right died? now. Uh, I don't think so. But it's like a 27,000 person waiting list to get on this. People are like dying to get spooked. Because everyone's guy. probably like, I could get through it. Yeah. Or that's what I was trying to wonder is like, are the people that do that, are they, do they love to be scared? And they think that it's like a thrill people who love to go on rides and go to scary movies, or are they people who think they're such hard asses that they're not going to be phased by anything? It's got to be 50, 50. Yeah. I'd go like 70, 30. I bet it's a lot of hard asses who are like, I don't get scared. Some of the people were like, I just want to be famous. Cause I guess they put everything on YouTube. Oh shit. Like, they just want to be. I don't even think that's YouTube. like getting scared though. That's not like. Oh, I'm I, like pop outs in movies really get me jumping. That's like if someone's tying you up, that's not like that's like not. I don't think that's like f scared as much as that's like legitimate discomfort and physical pain. Yeah. Right. That's not like, oh, I'm spooked. Or people just watch like Fifty Shades of Grey and oh, they're yeah. like tricking themselves into thinking it's kinky. Yeah, they pop a Viagra before they go through the haunted house. <laughs> <laughs> this they is pop a fucking Bluetooth. awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just going through rock hard. fucking Passing around the Bluetooth to you and all your friends. It's going to be fucking nuts. <laughs>
<laughs> they're gonna tie us up and beat the shit out of us. Asking the zombie to sign your pouch of blue cheese. <laughs> sign your tin of blue cheese. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, I, I could Where where it. where did you watch this? I think it was on uh I don't know, I came out after the Fred Again concert the next morning and everybody was just watching it already. I gotta but check that out. I'm I about just, to be done with Yellow Jacket, so I need something new to watch. Yeah. Enjoy season one while you can, bro. I'm on see I'm about to finish season two. Oh, you are? Yeah. Oh, I didn't watch season two. I couldn't. You still like it? Yeah, it's good. It's just, uh, you know, like based on the first episode that you watch, you're kind of like, oh, this is going to be a mini series, right? Mm -hmm. Like the, the stuff that they show in the first episode still has not happened. And I'm like 18 episodes in. Yeah. Like in the opening sequence, they're all wearing, they're all masks, wearing those masks. Like a they tribal still, council. Yeah. You, you think there's cannibalism? Yeah. They, there's no cannibalism. Yeah. Well, there is. No, you haven't watched second season. Oh, there is cannibalism. Yeah, but there's still season? it still is in that like where they're like hunting each other with like booby traps and stuff. That that like just kind of started happening. Yeah, I can't. They didn't have my attention for long enough. No, I'm, I love it. I had to go back to the to the algorithm. Yeah, I, I need to fucking. I need to get some serious. I need to sink my fucking teeth into something now that football's over. <laughs> 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 oh man! Now that the Eagles have one single loss, I know. I mean, if you're, yeah. What did you guys go last year? Eleven and zero until you lost. Oh, uh, maybe was it eleven? I thought it was like eight and zero. I think it was eleven. I thought it was eight and zero. We lost to Washington. I know we lost to Washington though, but we have the Dolphins this week who look fucking- That'll be a good game. They look like a juggernaut. Yeah, they're good. I mean, no matchup for the Bills, but they are good. <laughs> but the Bills lost to the- <laughs> to, the to the Jets? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but they beat the, they beat the, they beat the Dolphins 40. It's a lot of parody, dude. No one goes undefeated. Last year, the Chiefs lost to the Colts. Yeah, yeah. Anything could happen, bro. It's I hard. need hope it's in hard. my life right It's hard now. to win an NFL game. I've been saying that. <laughs> it's not easy to win a game in the NFL, <laughs> you, you, no matter who the team is. You sank some money into some bets yesterday? Yeah, I lost every single bet. I lost every single bet. That's why you're coming in nasty today, because <laughs> yeah. you fucking you you have the the disbelief in yourself. You're trying to drag someone down with you. You want to hear something that sucks? What? I won't talk about it for too long because I know people don't like the betting talk. But I had Saquon Barkley third uh, to score the third touchdown of the game, and they did not. They they. They were at the one yard line and they have Saquon Barkley lined up to run it and they throw the ball. Why the fuck did you bet someone it, third touchdown? Was live? It was alive. It, wow. I bet it in the fourth quarter. Like next touchdown will be him. Yeah. I was like, I was like, okay, the, the bills are going to lose, but I'll hit this bet. <laughs> I would have rather the bills lost to be fully honest. I would have rather. Yeah. The odds kinda... were like plus like 2,800. Fuck, we would have been rich. I know. You would have been paying for our four Charles. Exactly. You would have been paying the man with the gloves to cut the fucking egg burger <laughs> in half or whatever. <laughs> the black latex gloves. <laughs> yeah. Why do they got to wear those gloves? The BDSM, dude. They watch Fifty Shades of Grey. Yeah, that feels sexual. <laughs> the black gloves where they're like grabbing the fucking brisket and like ripping it apart. You know what feels sexual is whenever dudes slice their bacon, egg, and cheese fucking open and then like pull it apart yeah, like this. Yeah, like, oh. <laughs> and they're like squeezing it while the eggs like drip down. Yeah, like It's like, dude, just fucking eat the sandwich. Yeah, you nasty pervert. No one's ever seen that angle of a sandwich and been like, holy shit, that looks good. And it's just like, you never know. It's like porn. Like you're never considering the cameraman. No. There's like someone like straddling over them. <laughs> like you can try, if you try to do that shot with your, yourself, like opening a sandwich with yourself, you need both of your hands. Yeah. So someone has their balls over your forehead yeah. fucking, or like hugging you from behind. It's fucking foul. I mean, dude, those, those never look good. Like the, the videos of the fucking, the, them cutting open the cheeseburgers and the cheeseburger bun is like filled with like cheese. And then it just starts pouring everywhere. It's like, so then how do you eat that? With like a fork and knife? Yeah. Or it's just messy as fuck. Any type of thing where you have to like cut open an egg and it's going to just bleed all over. That's got to be fork food. That's just like a scramble. Like you can't have a sandwich that, or like some like, I got like avocado toast that had like an egg on top of it like that and ma made it impossible to eat. It was just a fucking mess. That's criminal. I was at brunch student having it and it just made me realize that Black people do brunch so much better. Well, they like party at brunch. Yeah. Have you ever seen the brunches in like Miami? It's in insane it's how much yeah. better black people do brunch. Yeah. It's not like the white people brunch where you go and you sit down and you're like, I guess I'll do a mimosa. Yeah. 
where you're like so hungover, <laughs> yeah. wearing like a hoodie, like yeah. talking about like the person you didn't mean to have sex with yeah. last night. Black dudes like pop a Molly before brunch. <laughs> yeah. And then like in a there. full orange suit, like <laughs> step out. Yeah. <laughs> they have like a fucking wide brim Balenciaga yeah. hat on yeah. or some shit like that and like do entrances. It's crazy. Black people are so much better at brunch. Yeah. Where did you go? Like some shit, stupid restaurant in my neighborhood that was serving Australian food. Ah. Meanwhile, there's like black people standing at the top of a limousine going yeah. past, <laughs> <laughs> like on their way to fucking look like a king sitting here. It is dude. crazy. They're so much yeah. better. At I've been brunch. seeing those videos online. They fucking step out and they have like see through sunglasses and like a Stacy Adams yeah. like tailored suit. Yeah, tailored. all of their brunches have live DJs. Yeah, it yeah. looks so fun. It's like. People, white people come hung over to brunch. Black people like don't drink for a couple nights no. before yeah, they to save up for, for the brunch, for brunch yeah. to lock in. Well, that's how like what Za and uh, Danny did. Yeah, they were brunch you, you got wheelbarrowed out yeah. in a fucking ton of in <laughs> yeah. like a bunch of cash. Yeah. There's probably like 50 50 raffles oh, going yeah. on. They're like sucking down like lobster tails and yeah. shit. White people brunch is going to like a Jewish diner and like a fucking drugged out fry cooks yeah. flipping a greasy ass omelet. White people are so much better at brunch. I've never been a big brunch or guy. Black people are so much better at brunch. Yeah. White people are better at changing the batteries of their smoke detectors. That's true. <laughs> that is a good one. We got that on lock. But black people are better at brunch. You're not a brunch guy? <laughs> no, I've never really been a brunch guy. I've, I mean, I've always been kind of just wake up, order some fucking slop, <laughs> power it down. I like going out for my slop, but I like a trash diner. Like I'm like a quintessential yeah, like a white, too, yeah. like a shitty one. Not like an elevated uh, Guy Fieri diner that has like Hollandaise sauce and like an Eggs Benedict yeah. with like some crazy yeah. fish or some shit like that. I want a sloppy ass omelet. I need two eggs, two links, <laughs> two slices of toast. Links no DC. patties? I think I'm links over patties too. I'm definitely brunch. links over patties. What about for a sandwich? Definitely patties, bro. Come on now. But sometimes they'll slice two links in uh, a sandwich and make them, make them flat. I don't hate that. It's kind of nice. You prefer like a snappy Italian sausage or like a breakfast sausage, like a Jimmy Dean, like a brown one that looks like a perfect turd. You know the turd. answer, bro. The brown ones. Brown ones? Yeah. I, I, got, I got sausages this weekend. We went out to breakfast and uh, I got fucking, they got the snappy ones. I don't like the snap. I love sausage. Yeah, me too. It's so good. I, I've actually kind of recently become more of a sausage over bacon guy. Same. Yeah. I am too. There's just or such a higher buck. upside. Yeah. yeah. Bacon can suck sometimes. Every bite of bacon isn't as good as... I, just the spice of the sausage. Oh. And it's how it's like hurtling you towards death. You think bacon's unhealthy. Oh, yeah. Sausage Dude, those like, breakfast sausages that like you're like my mom would like microwave at home are like, I think they're literally the worst thing you can put in your body. Yeah. Like over like cigarettes. They will stop your heart. They will like clog all of yeah. your arteries. And then whatever your microwave and the radiation will like <laughs> is like a little extra, <laughs> little extra treat for you. Yeah. I think like sausages and hot dogs are like the worst thing you can put in your body. Yeah. they like so turkey good. cold cuts. <laughs> yeah, I know. All of that shit is so bad for you. Turkey it's just has so me heavily processed. Yeah. So, I mean, obviously, I'm like everybody else. For fucking decades, I was eating turkey as my healthy oh, choice. Oh, yeah. And now it's like, I mean, turkey sandwiches are, there's bad nothing good in them. No, they're really bad for you. There's nothing redeeming. But they still, I still feel like they have to be better than like, I don't know. A burger? Yeah. A bacon, egg, and cheese? No, bacon, egg, and cheese is healthy. I don't care what anyone says. That's a good meal. Getting a bacon, egg, and cheese during the week is like one of the fattest, grossest things you could do. All right. <laughs> I like that's like how I start most of my days. Yeah, it's so gross. What do you have for, for breakfast? You don't even eat breakfast. Exactly. You get fucking piss water. Exactly. And you call it a day. Exactly. That's crazy. That's like what that's we were raised to believe that that is what you should have for breakfast every day. It's a bacon, egg, and cheese. And that was like Kellogg being like, we're going to kill the kids. No, Kellogg was like, here, eat our fucking fruit soup or our, our sugar soup. <laughs> soup. <laughs> they were like part of this complete breakfast and it yeah. would be like 32 ounces of orange juice, 120 grams of shit. It really is like It'd the be worst like one possible stick way to of your... butter. What are you supposed to have? Like granola and yogurt? Not even granola. You're supposed to have like fucking like fruit? some- Yeah, like diced fruit and like Greek yogurt or some shit. Yeah. So pretty much exactly what I just said, just minus the granola. 
Yeah, but granola is all sugar. No, granola is not bad for you. Or like oats, I oatmeal. Got ba- I got bad, or like oats, plain. Steel cut oats. But granola in and of itself is co- covered in sugar. Everything, everything you have, anything you want to enjoy in your life is going to be fucking you. Is this just in America? Because I saw a video the other day of some girl being like, I ate 10 times more when I was in Italy and I lost weight. Well, it's because they were walking everywhere. Yeah, true. Everybody loves to say that coming back from Italy. Yeah. Fucking frauds. Fucking idiot frauds. Poverty country. (laughs) (laughs) I I love that phrase, dude. Poverty country. Poverty franchise. So funny. Benny Balls was talking all last week how he doesn't want to go to Italy. He like thinks it's trash. Dude, Glenny would be like a king in Italy. I know. Big guy like him. He'd have like two, it, it would be like in the white Lotus, he'd have two like prostitutes feeding yeah, him sausage. Yeah. Like he, they would be fucking loving him. Isn't he like Sopranos as a personality yeah. kind of guy? And he's like, I'd rather go to Scandinavian countries. Why? I Italy's awesome. I don't know. Who wouldn't want to go to Italy? Italy's exactly. like the best. It's like the one best yeah. country that everybody can agree on. They just mind their own business. Fucking. They don't like despise the tourists as much as other countries do. Yeah. France, France despises France. The tourists. Like wants to murder the tourists. Yeah, I might go. Uh, I there's there's no way I'm going to France. I can't go to Paris. I'm not going to go to Paris. Subject myself to that. Yeah, it's mid. <laughs> Paris is poverty yeah. city. Poverty city, big time. Yeah, it's like I mean, well, the people who live there today would be like it's all overrun by like tourists and immigrants. Oh yeah, well, what can you do about that? Yeah, I'm pro immigrant. Are you? Sue me. Open borders. Yeah. Open Wait till borders. I bust a fucking ton of immigrants and drop them in your little fucking uh, West Village apartment. <laughs> yeah, we don't let them in there. <laughs> we like to keep it. We like to keep it pure. I'm gonna have a Greyhound full of out in West Village Panamanians and drop them off at your fucking West Village apartment. I would See be how fine you like with it. that. No, you uh, no, you wouldn't. Yeah, I would. All of them playing high lie in the streets. <laughs> All of them playing stick baseball in the streets, like it's the 1940s. As long as they're just having a good time, playing doesn't Ringo Lavio doesn't bother me. No, dude, you wouldn't like it. How did you? Uh, did you have a good day of rage? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> the day of jihad. Did you celebrate? Oh, on Friday? Yeah. I was seat 1A of the I'm plane. still coming down. I was fucking, I was <laughs> gearing myself up. 1A? Yo, you, yeah, that's, you gotta be ready to brawl. Yeah. Oh, I was yeah. ready to square off. Yeah. I was like, I need to sacrifice my entire body. Yeah. Probably not a, the best idea for the jihadists to announce their day of jihad. <laughs> right? I feel like that's kind of something you'd want to keep like low key. <laughs> like maybe keep that in the group chat, not like go into <laughs> Times Square and be like, tomorrow's going to be fucking crazy. Yo, wait till jihad yeah. tomorrow. <laughs> I wasn't, someone said in New York that every single cop had to wear their uniform that day. Yeah. At the airport, the fucking trucks that they oh had there. Oh my God, dude. When did you fly? On Friday. We're out of LaGuardia? Yeah. Friday dude, morning. Did, was the, the line to get into security wasn't bad. The line after you had put your bag through the machine, were you waiting there for like 40 minutes? Oh God, no. I get to the, I get to the airport as my shit is boarding. Me too. It didn't take me any 40 oh, minutes. Oh, dude, they scanned every single bag for like 10 minutes and then searched them. Really? They searched my bag. There was nothing in the bag. They probably, it's like a sweet spot that like, uh, jihad has to happen in like the mid morning. Yeah, true. By afternoon, yeah, like afternoon. no one's jihad. Yeah, they're still like jet lagged. Super yeah. in the, early in the morning. Well, it's like they're, yeah. yeah. The time zones surprised. fuck those guys up. <laughs> yeah. That's why 9-11 happened so early. <laughs> it was fucking like 6 p.m. at their time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're finally ready. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait for the orders. They had to wait for everyone to wake up back home to fucking give them the, the A OK to fucking. Dude, launch my it. mom was texting me like crazy, just being like, I'm so happy you're not in the city right now. I'm like, I don't really think West Village is going to be a hot spot. For the, I don't jihadists. Think the jihadists are going to be blowing up the fucking three story buildings. Go to Jack's wife, Frida. <laughs> <laughs> They're the free, they hate tavern. our freedom. Yeah. <laughs> they hate our freedom at Redline. <laughs> <laughs> our freedom to have shitty cover bands until four in the morning. <laughs> yeah. It's fuck. People in this office were like on Friday or like on I'm Thursday, not they in. were like bugging out. Yeah. Like I'm going up. I'm going Clemmer, upstairs. I'm getting out of town. Hubs. They were like, they were like bugging out. Yeah. They're like, I heard fucking, it's going to be bad. It's well, like, cause the problem is it's fucked up, but there is a part in everyone where they're like a little excited. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like the suspense is a little exciting <laughs> because they, and I know it sounds weird to say, but I think everyone has that deep down. Well, why do you they're think like, so- it's like the equivalent of like there being a blizzard, like one day before school. <laughs> 
and you're like, oh my God, what's going to, are we going to have to stay in our apartments again? You're checking the bottom line yeah, of the news. Exactly. Like any news? Yeah. You're checking New York City, going to latest on Twitter. Because the chances are it's not going to happen to you. Exactly. It'll happen somewhere else in the city. Yeah. And the people who were here in New York on 9-11, like- it was like enviable to have a story about it. Oh yeah, of course. That's why so many people lie about it. Yeah. Like the guy from the league, Steve Raznoff yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. He it's was like, in the towers. Yeah, it's like, because it was such a good story. It was like yeah. so much social currency to lie about September 11th and have some good shit happen. Yeah. To spook everybody. There's Pretend nothing, there hasn't been any stories since then. Like any good ones. Like they January tried to do 6th. it with the Boston Marathon, but those stories were ass. No one cared. And January 6th, we all have to lie about where we were. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can't even tell the truth. <laughs> All those people, like, they, there's like uh, videos of people going through, uh, like, Nancy Pelosi's desk. And I didn't realize they were, like, going in her, like, taking oh, her yeah. hard drives and yeah, shit like yeah. that. Like, they were downloading everything off of her computers. <laughs> it's so funny that just, like, all these, like, Florida citizens were coming yeah. up thinking that they were about to commence. Part of me does feel a little again. bad for those guys because it's kind of like one of those situations where you do something and you're like, you're not really thinking like this is going to be a problem at all. It's like, like they're probably walk out from school. Yeah. They're probably like, this is like hilarious. Like we're just fucking up and we're just fucking around in the Capitol. And next thing you know, they're like bored in their plane to go back home after a fucking relaxing vacation. <laughs> and TSA is like, you're a registered terrorist. This is 28 years. Yeah, you're going to jail for, for life. What the fuck? Because they were probably in there being like, well, they can't arrest all of us. Yeah, exactly. What, are they going to yeah. get all of us? Yeah. It's like, all right, guys, get the heck out of here. It's like when you see someone speeding and you're speeding too, and you're like, well, they're not going to pull us both over. We're like a bunch <laughs> of motorcycles driving together. Yeah, it's exactly. like maybe they'll catch one. Yeah, they're not going to catch everybody. Yeah. They're not going to run everybody's license plates. Little do they know, heavily documenting the entire thing did not end up being a good idea. In the most like filmed sanctuary <laughs> yeah. of government, they like hired freelance video guys. <laughs> did the freelance video guys get arrested too? No, they're good. I doubt it. Journalists. But if you went in the building as a journalist, are you good to go? Probably. If they handed their tape over. Yeah. I felt like these are all the guys they made a plea deal or something like that. I would assume so. Damn. It makes you wish you were in there. But nobody's, nobody can tell the stories. Nobody's like, oh, this fucking awesome thing happened. No, that's got to be a bummer. I to know. be one of the guys that went and didn't get caught. He's probably at a bar all the time, just shit face. Just be like, I got to tell you, I got a really good story for you. He's in Tampa. And then he has to end it every time. He's like, no, nah, I'm just fucking around. I can't, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe yeah. I didn't. Yeah, that never happened. Or maybe I did. Or maybe I didn't. Yeah. One of those dudes definitely blew a load in the fucking Capitol. Someone definitely like goofily jacked off in the Capitol. Someone probably got in there and had like nervous diarrhea and had to instantly just be like, where's the bathroom at? <laughs> I'm going to shit my pants. <laughs> <laughs> Someone shit or come themselves at the at during that time. Yeah. It's a hundred percent fact. Someone had a little bit of an ear of a blue Yoda. They were fucking tripping their balls yeah. off like they were at a Fred Gang concert. <laughs> <laughs> they unknowingly pissed themselves. Oh man. Fuck. I'm surprised they're not storming like any other buildings at all. Like there's never there hasn't really been any storming since then. It's because they didn't know it was that bad. I, I thought there would be like an uptick since then. No, because everyone got in so much trouble. They made an example out of everybody. Yeah. It sucks. It's the tightest the country's ever been. I know. That was a good day. See, it was like, loose, even that, like, so no then. one really, or that one person died. And, but it was like, that was like an exciting day. Everyone in here was watching the news and you're like, holy shit. They're really in the Capitol. That's crazy. It gave you the right to be funny again. Yeah, exactly. That was your first day being funny at Barstool. Yeah. You get to crack jokes. It's a yeah. good time. Everyone had waited for so long. Shaking ass. Yeah. Dumb numbies. Actually, you were the first person to joke that day. Yeah. People got mad at me. Because people though. wanted it to be something that it wasn't. It really was not that big of a deal. Like, I know, like, we lie and are like, that was worse than Pearl Harbor. Isn't that what Kamala Harris said? Yeah. She was like, it was 9-11 Pearl Harbor and, and January 6th. <laughs> it's like, no, not even close. Yeah, that's insane. Yeah. Because they want it to be. Same thing with, like, the day of, like, jihad. Yeah. Everybody, like, wanted it to be that so bad. The day of jihad might go down as the worst day of all time for jihadists. I mean, talk about a poverty franchise. They were exposed. <laughs> Jihadism was exposed on Friday. Those boys Friday. look real, <laughs> yeah. real soft. I Jihad's mean, looking shaky, yeah, baby. Yeah. I don't know what happened to the jihadists, but it used to mean something. Yeah, that was like- they, they used they, to 
terror, they used to really inspire terror. Yeah. Now we're laughing yeah. at them. Yeah. I now, mean, they became a meme on Twitter. It's because people shut that shit down. It's because, I mean, as soon as the Patriot Act got kicked in, like there's nobody that has a, an even a threat of uh, jihad that's not like being so heavily watched. Like there's probably someone in their own family. Like they're married to a special agent. Yeah, yeah. 100%. They isn't know it, everything. Isn't it crazy how like so much of spycraft through all of history was just like women fucking powerful dudes and getting the information out of them? Yeah. It's a power move. It real, I think that that's like almost how all of like spying got done is like either a woman fucked a powerful guy and got the information out of him or a man sent a woman to fuck a guy and then blackmailed him with the information. Yeah. Unless the guy wound up being gay in which you just send a man to fuck him. Yeah. And then you got like double blackmail. <laughs> You're like, oh, you're a terrorist and you're gay. <laughs> That's crazy. That's or a two. politician. That's two things. Yeah. Yeah. Which is fucking equally bad. What's the difference, honestly? Truth. What's the difference between a terrorist and a fucking politician? Same shit, man. I honestly trust the terrorists more. At least they'll fucking, <laughs> they're up front with what they're saying. At least they'll be honest about it. Actually, well, Truth. with Day of Jihad. When you're facing a loaded gun, what's the difference? <laughs> <laughs> that's from the departed one of the fucking uh one of the uh nfl players this past week i think tweeted out like lions don't con con uh, concern themselves with opinions of sheep oh really that's a good one <laughs> was it a lions player it. not even it was like somebody on i think it was had on, to have been a wide receiver no it was like an o lineman on the Giants. really yeah oh, o lineman shouldn't even be allowed to tweet <laughs> Twitter is strictly for it's the wide receivers. Yeah. O-Lyman, yeah. they're supposed to be the intelligent ones. Yeah. O-Lyman are supposed to be like nuclear physicists who like are just like beefy. Yeah. And they just had to get it out of their system. Yeah. N dude, no one tweets more than wide receivers. All those dudes do is tweet. They're tweeting like during halftime. Yeah. And it's the dumbest shit. And ever. it's like shit that doesn't even, it's not even like, doesn't even make sense. It's, it's just like a combination like of words. Cryptic. It's like the they thought we art didn't. of war. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like 50 laws of power yeah. mixed with a t-shirt you'd buy on the boardwalk. Yeah. Wide receivers tweet the same way that like all those like TikTok dudes used to tweet. Yeah. It, it really is sad. You, they'll see. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Stefan Diggs. 21 Savage. Yeah. Yeah. High yeah. like school drug dealer. Talk. Yeah, it is. They're like SoundCloud rappers. It's crazy. We're just like mildly cryptic shit. It's all cryptic. Like the hand with the knife yeah. conceals the hawk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. The eagle descends at midnight, <laughs> but the rat will be exposed. It's like, what the fuck are you talking Snakes about, brother? When the grass is cut. <laughs> you were already stupid. Now you're because <laughs> I don't want to hear it, brother. Man. Man, oh, man. Good shit. Where are you going this weekend? Nowhere. I'm in the city. Are you? Yeah. Are you in the city? Team bonding. Yeah. Team bonding. This weekend. In the city. It's nah, I'm out of here. Should we bro. kick it to an ad? Yeah, let's kick it to an ad. <laughs> All right. Happy to be back from that fucking advertisement. Where are you at this weekend? I don't know. I'm trying to get out of town. Yeah. But I also have this like nagging thing in the back of my mind that I, I don't deserve anything. You know what I mean? Why? Is this all because of the Eagles? <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <laughs> have you ever got that feeling? <laughs> yeah. Or you just like feel like you don't deserve anything. <laughs> Bro, is this all because of the birds? Uh, probably. <laughs> Dude, what about the Phillies? They're doing well. They're doing great. Yeah. But you just kind of know that's not going to end how you want it to. It never does. <laughs> it, it never, ever does. Dude, you should try being from Boston, Massachusetts. Yeah. Bruins yeah. are unbelievable again this year. Celtics. Are they? Yeah. No, you can't root for the Celtics this year. I'm not going to be a Celtics fan. You busy. can't. Tyler, you can't either, honestly. I don't it's, really give a fuck about basketball. It's a slap in the face to Pat Bev. Nah, it's a slap in the face I, to your coworkers. I'm for ties. I wish they tied in the preseason twice. No, less of that. No, no, no. Yeah, your dad, Sass's dad, wouldn't like that one bit. My dad is a big <laughs> Celtics fan. Yes, yeah, same. But he doesn't like ties, though. Your dad just hated ties. He does hate ties. He says, did you win? And you go, no. And he goes, well, then you lost. Yeah. It's true. And so that you're basically rooting for losses. He was on the Lakers last year. That was the same shit. It's fucked. This is absolutely fucked. I can't condone this. But yeah. Sports are destroying your life. <laughs> yeah. I know. Maybe you just got to turn them off. I know. I Stop being a fan. Maybe I should, honestly. I need, a, I need a whole other thing. I need to get into like woodwork or some shit. Yeah, that would like be that. fun. I need to like fucking. Or like drawing. Maybe you could just start drawing. I met painting. A, I met an illustrator this weekend. 
And the guy was like, I don't have a fucking ounce of God given talent in my body. He was our cab driver in Tennessee. Sounds and then like a he positive sh- conversation. No, then he showed me his fucking <laughs> his work and it was the best illustrations really? I've ever seen. It was like busty vixens of World War II. And it was just like hot women from like Germany and France, like going to kill Nazis. It was the sickest illustrations I've ever <laughs> fucking cool. seen in my life. He's like, I have no natural talent. And he showed me his portfolio and it fucking ruled. He has like this long series about a time traveling janitor. And I like, I think this dude's next up. That's cool. Yes. That's awesome. He was an obese 50 plus year old from Tennessee, from Knoxville, Tennessee. But I still think he's next up. We should get him on the pod. You think so? Yeah. That is cool. Like rewriting World War II with just hot babes. <laughs> Right. Killing the Nazis. That's what the glorious bastards is. Yeah. Yeah. But even being able to draw so good that you can get horny off of it. Oh, yeah. I mean, do you remember when I was in that Uber? What was that? I don't think I do remember when you were in that Uber. Remember when I was in that Uber? I I talked about it on the Yak. And I, and I, the dude had a QR code on the back of his car. He was like, check out my art. And then I opened up his art and it was just like the most intense pornographic drawings I've ever (laughs) seen. Like literally like drawings of like dicks, like leaking cum. Oh, and it was just like posted up in the back of his Uber. And I was like, what the fuck, dude? Oof. Dude, look at this guy's shit, dude. It's the. <laughs> this is the dude. And then it's the. All right, let's take a second and talk about Game Time. Game Time, the exclusive ticketing partner of Barstool Sports and my favorite advertiser that we have. Yeah. I just love them so much because they're going to get me last minute tickets to whatever I want to, whether I want to go to a Fredigan show, whether I want to go to see the Phillies playing in the NLCS. Well, we're going to go, use, we're going to use game time and we're going to go to the Eagles game this weekend. On Sunday? Yeah, me and you. Really? Dolphins, Dolphins, birds. Really? Fins up. Okay. You're going to get the shit beat out of you in Philly, but <laughs> that's fine. You can get the best rate to get your ass whooping in Philly. Exactly. Via game time. Game well, time. Just a simple interface. You're going to be able to sort however you want. You can look at the map, pick exactly where you want to see, sit, just a couple taps, bang, you're in the stadium and you're enjoying the best times of your life. And you don't only have to do sports. You could use, you could get tickets for sports, music, comedy, and theater events near you. Game time. You can get zone deals. You can pick the section. Game time picks the seats. And that's an average of 18% savings. I mean... That's a good deal. 18% on some of these games, that's going to be a complete, that, that's going to change how your day goes. It's just it's fantastic. Take the guesswork out of buying tickets with Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, and use code BOYDAF for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account and redeem code BOYDAF for $20 off. Download Game Time today. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. A dude, oh. came, up to, a dude came up to me at our show in Tennessee. And uh, he was like, son of a boy, dad. Actually, a bunch of something. Boy, dad came, people came up. Yeah. But the one dude was so jacked. Oh, really? It was awesome. That's good. <laughs> yeah. It was like, it was like, made me think that we should talk about going to the gym more often because he was in such good shape that I felt like we were positively. Yeah, we probably, they probably changed his life. Yeah, we did. All right. Let's talk about better help. Son of a boy, dad is sponsored by better help. Do you ever feel like your brain is getting in your own, in its own way? Yep. Little you know what you should, like you know what you should do, what's good for you, but you just can't do it. Therapy helps you figure out what's holding you back so you can work for yourself instead of against yourself. I like to use better help therapy. It makes me feel good. makes me feel like I know what I should do and it makes me feel like I can just do it. Yeah. If your sports team's doing bad. Exactly. A little better help. A little better help. A little BH. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. Make your brain your friend with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash sun to get 10% off of your first month. That's BetterHelp, B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P dot com slash sun s o n and check out better help today for some better help the b- big busty broads of world war ii <laughs> oh, those are sick. <laughs> they're fucking sick and then here's uh bud colbert the time traveling <laughs> the time traveling janitor pussies rip my flesh dude 
he oh, just has awesome. he has uh, he's so fucking those sick. Guys, like, super cool. It's fucking amazing. I would buy one of those. I know. Hanging up in my apartment. I'm about to blow this dude up. Like, uh, is he like, selling them? You know how like uh, a Korean kid will get on TikTok and be like, "My grandma owns this store, and oh, no one yeah, ever yeah, comes yeah, by." Yeah. And then the next day, there's like a fucking line, a line around the, door, the fucking yeah. neighborhood. That is like a hack. It, that's like the the. Like you're never done. Like it's like you, you always still have a chance of of doing what you want to do if you just have like a tech savvy grandchild child. I know, and I think that that's could just I'm, change your life, make you look like the most depressing piece of shit of all time online. Because a lot and of then times, just get a lot of sympathy fans. Like those stores look like they suck. Yeah, because they probably do. There's a reason that no one goes to them. <laughs> right. Like this, it, there's nothing on the shelves. It's poorly marketed. They just have like stacks of like sponges and like fucking yeah. baking powder and shit like that. Like <laughs> no one comes to my store. <laughs> It's like, we have enough sponges, dude. Stop trying to sell me fucking sponges. It's so literally, it's like someone who decided halfway through their life that they wanted to quit their job and start making sponges from hand. Yeah. They're like, this is what I've always wanted to do. It's a dream of mine. I'm starting a sponge company and I think it's going to blow up. Me and my dad used to make jokes about that when we were, when I was young and we would drive to go play hockey and we'd pass all these, like, there's just like thousands of coffee shops everywhere. And most of them, there's no single person has not been in there in 20 years. And we're like, how do you think that, how do you think that starts? Cause people are like, we have a clever name. We're going to call it mug shots. Yeah. But it's gotta be a dude who's like having a midlife crisis. And he's like, honey, I quit my job. I'm going to open up fucking yeah. Mug shots. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, we couldn't really get a good space. So it's in the side of a fucking garage, <laughs> but it'll be like rustic and cool. Yeah. It's going to be great. I'm going to hire a bunch of baristas that I want to fuck. Yeah. <laughs> it won't have a strain on our marriage. A bunch of hot ass baristas. <laughs> like a bunch of hot ass disinterested underqualified baristas <laughs> who have like uh, nipple piercings and like books. <laughs> it won't have a strain on our marriage. Yeah, I'm going to pay them all way too much. <laughs> yeah. You'll actually have to get another job to start supporting <laughs> us now, but you can't work at the coffee shop because it's not how I want to represent myself in my midlife crisis. It's record player guys. Honestly, you got to be fucking careful. It's record player Bob Dylan guys that wind up like oh, that. Oh yeah. Big time. It definitely is. It's like they have two like shitty old scones. They're like, yeah, we're a bakery too. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not dude. This shit sucks. Bakeries go out of business a lot. And is it so no hard? One's, dude, no one's eating fresh bread anymore. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell's going on? Talk but then that. again, I go to fucking Italy. I fucking eat nothing. All I eat is fresh bread and I yeah. lose a hundred pounds. Exactly. They got fucking Ozempic in the bread over there. I know. Oh, 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 Ozempic. Auto parts. Auto parts. They said that they're about to come out with something way stronger than Ozempic. Really? Yeah. Because I'm trying to get like sickly skinny. Cocaine. Cocaine. Yeah. That's a good one. Adderall. It's bullshit now because they're like, there's so many ads on television trying to really spook you about cocaine. Really? I haven't seen any of those. Well, they're, I mean, because the fentanyl. <laughs> Where are you seeing these ads? On like broadcast television. It'll be like during the football game. They're really? Like, fentanyl is in everything. Like All of my ads on football are AI ads. Like for what kind of AI? I don't know. It's just Matthew McConaughey being like, AI is going to take over the world. He, the pro best, or anti? Pro. Really? In the best way possible. You haven't seen these? No. No one does. But he just stopped doing movies, huh? And he just, all he does is like Lincoln ads, AI ads, yeah. goes to Texas games. When did he do, when was the last time? Well, he's trying to like run for like governor, isn't he? Or like mayor? Some shit. I thought he was like trying to get involved in politics. I might be out on McConaughey. No. Don't say that. I think I am. That's crazy. You got to rewatch fucking Dallas Buyers Club. Never watched Dallas Buyers Club. Oh, that's a great movie. Didn't like him in, uh, uh, uh. What was that? Wolf, what was he in? Well, he's Wall barely Street. in that. He's in that for like five yeah, minutes. Yeah, and he's still in his Dallas Buyers Club body. Looks like shit. <laughs> you should watch he's still uh, got Lincoln an AIDS Lawyer. Body. Lincoln Lawyers, I guess that was all right, but that was back in the day. Mud. That's like giving, Mud. That's like giving Justin Timberlake credit for future sex love sounds. <laughs> I've never seen that. You never watched? First off, it's an album. Oh, but it was an HBO concert series, best concert series of all time. Really? Because this is like 2008. Like I'm not about to be sucking him off for some shit he did in 08. I love McConaughey. Well, you can fucking go down with the ship then. <laughs> I'm out on you too then. Oh, Interstellar, <laughs> Interstellar, phenomenal. They could have plugged in anybody in that role. <laughs> oh, dude, <laughs> that what? Could have been anybody? System quarterback. Yeah, system quarterback. Honestly, they probably wish they had Matt Damon. 
Dude, this hey, is crazy. Mad, Mad Damon and the Martian. You're not acting like yourself, man. What's going on? <laughs> this is, this feels like this is coming from somewhere deeper. <laughs> Five and one. This is all from the Eagles losing. Five. I admire it, dude. I wish I cared about, like, I, I like football, but not to the point where I'd be like, sad the next day like <laughs> i'd be sad I, yeah. <laughs> you don't got to take it out on mcconaughey dude he didn't do anything wrong what is he a cowboys fan mcconaughey should have should have died in dallas Byron. oh <laughs> bro. <laughs> bro no no <laughs> no <laughs> not maddie mac <laughs> i love his commercials <laughs> come, come on go easy oh man is uh who's gonna is, do the ai commercial it's probably not even him it's probably an ai of he probably is you're right and they probably just use his likeness he probably agreed to cross the picket line at the writer's strike or whatever but like, listen we'll fucking screw everybody else with ai yeah they really hopped back on the fucking that shit they they revamped fast like their strike ended in SNL and all the daily shows came out like the next day. That strike was good for the top percentage of all writers. Oh, so good. And it sucks for every other person that wants to be a writer. Everybody who buys Netflix, everybody that consumes movies, that should, yeah. uh, that should, uh, I mean, Jimmy Fallon probably got the most drunk anyone's ever gotten. Oh my God. For six months straight. Just fucking like can't stand drunk. Yeah. He was just like throwing himself down stairways. <laughs> Just like breaking into like up. random businesses yeah. and like singing songs. Oh yeah. Like breaking into piano stores and like yeah. trying to like sing a fucking. Do a Bob Dylan fucking impression. <laughs> yeah. yeah. How does it feel? It feels like it's 9 a.m. on a yeah. Wednesday, Jimmy. Go <laughs> <laughs> fuck out of here. Go to bed, Jimmy. Go to bed, Jimmy. That's probably why they ended the strike. Jimmy's going to die. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen Jimmy Fallon's eyes? They're yellow and jaundiced. <laughs> His liver's failing right in front of us. We need him to get to work. Oh, man. Classic Jimmy. Do Alanis more set, Jimmy. Do the troll song. I mean, maybe it's because they came out with that podcast and they were like, yeah, we, this, is, this is bad. Right. Leave, the, leave it to the pros, all right? Yeah, come on. Podcasts are not for A-list. Just because your fucking little TV for show's D-list. failing. F-list. <laughs> let us fucking, For F-list celebrities. Let us F-ies get on here. Zach F list. Like Zach Efron. Oh shit. <laughs> For honor would... mentions under the list. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. We gotta do something about these birds. Are you I think I think the problem <laughs> is I think you're upset about the Jets loss, which I get it. Who wouldn't be? I mean, the Patriots could never lose to the Jets. That would never happen. One win all season, they beat the Jets. <laughs> uh, but I feel like you're, I think this is coming from a place of anxiety where you're worried about the Dolphins game as well next week. Dolphins are putting up like 70 points a game. They're unbelievable. We can't stop anybody. Yeah. Can't stop a nosebleed. Yeah. I don't know, man. What do you think is going to happen? I don't know. I think I'm going to get into community service, go to a soup kitchen or something yeah. like that. Start giving back. Yeah. I'm going to film myself giving sandwiches to homeless people. What well, are you going to do for that game? I think I'm going to go to like the fucking, uh, like little sisters of the poor fucking. Oh, you're not even going to watch. <laughs> I'm going to volunteer. You're just going to have to distract yourself with volunteering for homeless people. I'm going to like give, uh, like, uh, like, styrofoam containers of food to homeless people and then when they look inside and be like what is this like i don't like this i'm gonna freak the fuck out yeah. of them and like spaz out go birds <laughs> yeah maybe you should go down where are they playing it uh miami you gonna go down actually no it's in philly are you gonna go no why i don't want to i would go i'll go with you no i think i'm gonna leave the country this weekend <laughs> oh <laughs> this is crazy huh? we gotta get you out of this rut I'm just going to go out of the country for this a This is the bit. most depressed I've ever seen you. <laughs> this is worse than when the fucking Phillies and the Eagles both lost in the, <laughs> the finals last year. That's crazy. You have had a rough year. I know. This it's is bad. Terrible. But the Eagles are still like the one of the best teams. Like they're at least top 10. It's not what you were saying earlier. No, I mean, they're frauds and they're a poverty franchise, but I would say they're like, if they're not top 10, they're top 15 teams in the league right now. So top half. Yeah. Yeah, that's love. They're like right around where the Patriots are. Yeah, they're close. I mean, see the power rankings of your of all your favorite teams. Favorite teams or best teams? Of all your best favorite teams. My best favorite teams. All right. <laughs> <laughs> best teams in the NFL right now. Bills, number one. What about your Dolphins? Well, I haven't finished. 
Okay, so D- Bills over Dolphins. Yeah, I mean, the Bills beat the Dolphins 48 to 4. Copy, 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 copy. I would go Bills, Dolphins, Jets, Patriots. Patriots beat the Jets. Yeah, but the Jets beat the Eagles. Okay. Wait, all your favorite teams are in the AFC East? No, this is. I'm, uh, these aren't my favorite teams. These are the best favorite? These are the best teams in, in oh, the NFL best right now. My bad, my bad. I'm ranking the best teams in the NFL. Okay, so all the best teams are in the AFC East. Got it. Got yeah, it. okay. Copy, Bills. Copy, copy, copy. I'm going to redo it. Bills, Jets. <laughs> <laughs> so we lost to the second best team in the league. Yeah. So shit's not so That's that why bad. I'm saying you shouldn't be that upset. <laughs> <laughs> Is it poverty or no? It's poverty. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot me straight, doc. All right. Best teams in the NFL. There's beauty in it. So but no the Jets were the worst team in the NFL until this week. Right. And now they're on. Now top. they're number two. Right. So Bills are the best team in the NFL. Jets are number two. <laughs> There's beauty in the struggle, ugliness in the success. Patriots are definitely not number three, probably number four. I'd go Dolphins, Patriots, Cleveland, Bengals, Chiefs, 49ers, Eagles. So 10th. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then maybe Raiders. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) I like like that list. Yeah, it's not a bad list. I like that list. Yeah, that's a list of someone who really knows ball. Top five for college. Top five for college? Shit. I don't watch a lot of college. Um, Stanford, number one. That was huge. That was Shout a big one. The Bachmeyer family. Yeah. Uh, Alabama. Roll Tide. Penn State. Okay. Huge, huge game this weekend against Dude, Ohio Penn State. State. Yep. Hey, we can all get together on that one. Yep. Yep. Well, that's a team building, yeah. team bonding exercise. MSU. Mississippi State? Yeah. Michigan State? No. Um, Michigan State? For sure. Michigan. Ole Miss. Providence. <laughs> you like Georgia at all? No. Georgia's trash. Frauds. <laughs> um, uh, like uh, UVA. Oklahoma. Florida State. No. Frauds. Trash, trash. And then Colorado. Poverty. poverty. Colorado. Okay. So the buffs are still like top. Buffs 10, are 11. still in it. Oh, They're actually, can we, what did I say was number one? Stanford. <laughs> Stanford. Oh, Stanford. Can we put Oregon in front of that? No, okay. we already <laughs> <laughs> and then take Colorado off. Okay. Yeah, yeah you can't throw it. TCU somewhere in there as well. You can fuck around with it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just do any team that beat Colorado and right. put them in the top three. And then can you just do the Mount Rushmore of fast food chains? <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Yeah. That would be useful. Should we draft them or do you want me to do them normally? <laughs> Snake draft or regular draft? <laughs> Top foot. You know what is, you know what's a bad fast food chain? What is the ad that I keep on seeing about the new Philly cheesesteak and it just looks <laughs> fucking terrible? Wawa? Wawa's really, is that what it is? Wawa has pizza know. now and that shit uh, looks yeah. grim, dude. Dude. <laughs> dude, those are all over Philly now. The Wawa pizza Unless they want to advertise, that shit looks... I think it's Arby's. I think they might have made an ad for a cheesesteak, and it literally looks like someone took a pack of Jack Link's beef jerky and chopped it up and threw it into in between bread. <laughs> and they're like, <laughs> this... I don't know. Arby's is fucking disgusting. Arby's yeah. is fucking disgusting. Like, you, uh, you said bacon, egg, and cheeses is an ultimate fat move. If you've ever been to an Arby's by yeah. choice, and I, like if there was something else within 500 miles of there... And you still chose Arby's. That's like I you think have a you've problem. Even thought about pulling into and pulling Arby's. into an Arby's, unless you have like explosive diarrhea, and you're like, yeah, yeah, sure, I'll buy something if you let me use the bathroom. <laughs> That's the only way that yeah. it's okay. Otherwise, if you're going to Arby's, you had some type of like traumatic brain injury as a child. Something happened <laughs> bad as a child. No, like either either like physical something went to or through yeah. your brain, or you were like, uh, you have a repressed memory of abuse or something yeah, like that yeah. that you're trying to cover up with Like fucking- your dad threw you down the stairs and then you went and told your mom and then she also threw you down the stairs. <laughs> it was like, why are you snitching on your dad? <laughs> Those are for, that's who Arby's is for. That's who, <laughs> that's who goes to Arby's. Yeah. Arby's, the beef. <laughs> yeah. It's so, the beef is gross the there. Beef. The fucking rolls are gross there. Dude, everything the cheese is, is gross. gross there. Everything is gross there. And I haven't been there in over 15 years. I've never been. <laughs> and you still know it's gross. Uh, dude, anyone who uh, who saw the ad for the Meat Mountain and was like, I got to go pick one of these up, stat. Yeah. Let me get my hands on the fucking Meat Mountain. Yeah, it's only acceptable as if you're trying to accelerate death. Yeah. If it's like you've uh, you've like signed away your life to physician assistant suicide and yeah. you want Dr. Kevorkian to fucking kill you and you want to make it a little bit easier on him. 
Dude, going to get fast food and, and, and getting ham, like that's what you chose. Getting ham damn near ever. Is disgusting. Or like bologna. Ooh. It's crazy that people will just like yeah, let me bologna. get a double bologna. That grown adults with uh, <laughs> access to all meat. For flat earthers. Yeah. <laughs> it really bologna is. Bologna is so gross, dude. The fact that there's that like ring around the bologna yeah. is so yeah. nasty. Dude, it's, the fact that you can literally just go and buy just a sphere of bologna. <laughs> like a nuclear weapon of bologna. Like a warhead of bologna. It's so fucking gross. It's nasty. Or like pimentoed stuff. It just shows that like any goodwill that was built up in like the 1940s when uh, like we, we just won World War II is like equally taken away by the fucking stupid shit that they were eating. Yeah, because that's all that it all spans from then. They were like, let's all have a fucking roasted ham. Yeah. Or like a fucking let's have turkey. We're like fucking the stupidest, the stupidest fucking meals. I'm out on turkey for Thanksgiving, big time. Really? Yeah. But that's not like the processed turkey. That's the good turkey. I know, but I still, it's like not the ideal meal. A steak think, is. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Come on now. But no one does it. It no. should be, dude, if you're going to ball out on a feast, it should be steak. No and, one wants turkey. And if the and pilgrims it, had had steak, they would be eating it. Yeah, dude, they would not have eaten turkey. It's dry as hell. All the dark pieces have to go to the fucking older people that are like more respected in the family. <laughs> yeah. I used to get fucking yelled at if I would take the dark pieces. That's really? Grandpa. <clears throat> grandpa, that's grandpa's piece. There'd be like two fucking wings and you'd be like 10 years old. You're like, I'm going to have one of the wings. Like, no, you're fucking not. We're going to give you some of this chalk. (laughs) Yeah, absolutely not. We're going to give you some of this, just the driest, crumbliest, nothing nastier than a Dude, honestly, I'd rather have a rotisserie chicken. Personal rotisseries? Personal rotisseries. That'd be fun. That does sound way nicer. That would be bomb. That does sound way nicer. Maybe I'll have some Halloween candy to cheer my ass up. But like what? Like the fucking uh, no candy corn. Oh God, of course not. We're really hitting all of the barstool major topics today. I know. We're just a little gift for the fucking social team. Yeah. Candy corn is so overrated. Guys, I can't can we stand talk it. about candy corn? Underrated or overrated? Super overrated. Candy corn is a poverty candy. <laughs> Exposed mid candy corn and Hershey's bars are having a mid off. <laughs> 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 Which Will Ferrell movies? Yeah. Go, dude. <laughs> oh man! Oh my God! You know who's killing it is? Uh... Actually, I don't even want to say who. I want to keep it negative. Do say, <laughs> do tell, do tell. <laughs> no, no. Just keep it positive, dude. <laughs> no, no, no. I want to keep it negative. No, come on, tell me. Uh, I think we'll I cut it out. It we'll cut it out. We'll cut it out. Uh, uh, all the followers of Jesus Christ, everybody who's given up their their fucking. They're, they're Sundays to the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It's maybe what I need a little bit of uh, at church. A little bit of Wait, I'm really prayer. lost. Where is this coming from? <laughs> no, <laughs> That's who's killing it right now? No, I just don't want to say who's actually killing it. Who? Someone here? No. No, no, no. <laughs> I don't know. Who? Tell me who. Large is killing it. Large? Yeah. Do you see him DJing at Alabama? No. He seemed like he was having a blast. Well... Large is like the ultimate good times guy. I've never seen him in a bad mood. Yeah, he is always having fun, having steak. He's like living well. He is. He's, he's like just, Ron Swanson. <laughs> <laughs> he's just like overloading his, uh, like the the good responses. He just eats like, eats steak. Smokes cigars, smokes cigars. Drinks whiskey. Drinks whiskey, drinks wine. Has rich shit in his life. Goes and hangs out with college kids. Just yeah. has a fucking blast. Maybe that's what we got to do. Maybe we got to go on a little tour little college tour oh by, by the way the gramercy show is canceled what? it is yes no so i'm so upset right now yeah well let's it just do a, became let's do another show let's book one then no why we're gonna give it some time why because we just had one booked and we canceled it yeah but that was because of also the tickets like were selling show. well too yeah, of course they were it's the biggest fucking city in the world it's a big apple yeah. well it became too much uh no one wanted to do it I wanted Who? to do it. I texted you and said, should we do it? And you never replied. Yeah, that was on purpose because I didn't, you didn't want, want to, to do it. <laughs> no, I just didn't want to answer. And Francis didn't want to do it. I was the only Francis one that wanted didn't to, do want to do it. I wanted to do it. I wanted to do it. I said I was down. But then before I, in, in the in between, I made other plans. And so it was like, yeah. I was going to let whatever happened naturally happened. And I was going to cancel my plans if the show was on. And if the show was off, I was going to continue with my plans. Yeah. So it's not happening. We'll do another one at some point. Can't wait. Let's set up. Let's get a big fucking room. Yeah, let's do the beacon. 
maybe that's what I'll, I'll tell my agent. I was like, the reason we didn't do it was because we didn't want to Gramercy, really, guys? Come on. This is fucking... Don't fucking play with us. We want to do the beacon. We're getting our own... MSU downstairs? Oh, the Hulu Theater? Yeah. That's yeah. what Alex Cooper's doing. Really? Yeah. I would get tickets to that. <laughs> <laughs> Just to too. get a fucking glimpse of those warlocks. <laughs> Her boobs? <laughs> Alex Lee Cooper's Will. boobs? Yeah. No one likes Alex Cooper from, from, the, her from the from the nosebleeds of the Hulu theater. Oh my god, horny Alex! I work at Barstool. I love you. Like at a silent moment, yeah. I love you. She's like, I love you too. <laughs> I fucking love you, Alex. Whenever people do that at concerts, it pisses me off. Yeah, dude. The fucking uh, the what was the game yesterday where they had the moment of silence for like Israel and Palestine, and it was like. Yeah, they went, they were just fucking yapping during the whole thing. They did not get silent at all. I was thinking about it. It would be really funny if one team just came out and was like, by the way, we stand with Hamas. Because they're all coming out with like their fucking AI generated statement, which is, it, it, is war really something that we need to be releasing statements on? Is that really like where we're at? The silence is deafening from a lot of people. But who doesn't know, like who's like, Holy shit, I just found out that there's a war happening in Israel and Palestine through the Jets, <laughs> through the Jets Twitter account. That's where I found out about it. I always think it's funny when like, <laughs> like when like uh, like small bakeries are trying to like raise money for Israel. Oh, yeah. It's like, dude, the U.S. government has you covered. Yeah, bro. we're good. <laughs> They're going to send over fucking everything. <laughs> yeah. Like they don't need like 120 bucks from you. I've got no sides. You don't? No, because I don't know enough about it to pick a side. Well, wow, very diplomatic of you. Yeah. That's what everyone, unless you're like well-educated on it, that's what you should be doing. Not picking a side? Yeah. That's how we get to points like these, all right? I'd rather not have a side than be like fake passionate about one about side where I know nothing man. about it. As a gambling man? Yeah. Israel, easily. <laughs> I, is Israel minus yeah. 100,000. <laughs> Let's not be foolish now. <laughs> Long odds by Hamas. Yeah. Long odds. And if you got, if you got Israel live, good <laughs> yeah, on you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you got him for that one brief second that it looked like they were down, that's just good gambling on I mean, your if part. I would have taken Palestine first quarter. Yeah, that's sharp. <laughs> first quarter, take the points. But I had Israel third <laughs> touchdown. <laughs> they were streaming it on HBO Max. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. I might, Whoa. we should try and cook up some side propaganda. Yeah. You should have your, you should hit up your boy. Which one? The Uber driver. I'll make a comic. Yeah. The busty big vixen. Ruin his life completely. <laughs> <laughs> we got you a paid gig. There is a catch. It will destroy your career or any hopes of a career. We're going to need you to be chief propaganda officer. Yeah. They're going to lie about some stuff, but that's, that's part of the game. Yeah. I mean, what's happening in Ukraine? That shit just ended. You just swap your flag. <laughs> It's it's crazy that the same like the same porches that were flying Ukraine flags have an Israel flag now. Yeah, you got to have a stance on war. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone that lives in fucking suburban Massachusetts needs to have a flag up because that's going to do a lot. You need a stance on white war, on the wars that white people are having. I just don't get it. Like, was that how it was when like fucking? I guess everyone's always yeah, been it's always been like war. that. Peace in the Middle East, that was like a fucking 80s thing. Like yeah, people Vietnam. But yeah. Vietnam, they weren't even wasn't America like rooting for Vietnam? I feel like that was kind of a really bad war. Well, a lot of hippies were. But hippie bastards. If you don't like America, get the hell out. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen porn on the fourth of July? <laughs> I don't think so. That's from that. It's a great movie. Phenomenal movie. Goddamn communist bastards. That, that impression burst out of you. Oh, yeah. If you don't like America, then get the hell out. Damn. And then he realizes that America doesn't even like him. You ever Have you watched Oppenheimer yet? No. He was going to all the communist Sloppenheimer? parties. Sloppenheimer? Sloppenheimer was going yeah. to... He was, dude. He was giving sloppy neck to all these fucking yeah. female physicists. Yeah. The wives. He was on the fucking... Ryan he was on Long. bobblehead. <laughs> Ryan Long did a hilarious sketch about that. Did he? Just like all of them like interviewing him and they're all like, uh, he was a genius. I mean, he was like one of the smartest people I've ever met. And then like it goes to another guy and then it goes to uh, Ryan Long and he's like, he fucked all of our wives. <laughs> <laughs> it is funny as hell. Ryan Long had a funny one about choosing sides on the, on the war. Yeah. yeah I saw that. Hilarious as well. Funny guy. 
He is a funny guy. He's a nice guy too. Nice, funny guy. Strong too. Strong, nice, funny guy. <laughs> well, oh man. I wasn't meaning to say anything positive about anybody. No, I forgot you're on your negative shit. People are gonna people are gonna fucking love it, dude. What do you think about Travis Kelsey on the sidelines at the Eagles game? I know a dude that uh a little weird. I I know a dude that Blood uh, thinks he's on the team. <laughs> <laughs> I know a dude that's a college assistant coach now that was an offensive lineman that that fucked Travis Kelsey. In the ass? A man had sex with Travis Kelsey. I don't know who Hell fucked yes. who, but I know a All man right. that fucked breaking? Travis Kelsey. Is this breaking? Are we breaking this for the yes. first time? And I don't care. I'm not like, it's not my judgment call on him either way, but I'm just that's not surprising the news at all, though. that there's a man who fucked Travis Kelsey. If you thought like Travis detailed, Kelsey didn't fuck dudes, that's more crazy. And it's just He like, just fucks cool. everything that it's walks. fluid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's super fluid. But this guy was an O lineman, and they had a fucking uh like a, a sexual romantic relationship with one another, like Aaron Hernandez style, like yeah, like Obama style, yeah. <laughs> but that's just like that's just because he's like a Travis Kelsey's probably just like a kind of a slut, <laughs> yeah, in a cool way, cool way, no shame to it. Like he does a couple <laughs> fucking lines of Molly, and then he's like. I'll fuck anyone. Yeah, we uplift shit. sluts. I'm Travis fucking Kelsey. It's backroom shit. It's like backroom Bobby stuff. It's like you're, you're fucking having a good time. The doors are closed. There's yeah. no everybody's cameras are in Ziploc bags. Like, yeah. of course you're gonna, of course you're gonna fuck an you're offensive gonna lineman, fuck a dude. Yeah. yeah, of course you're gonna get fucked by an offensive lineman. You'd be dumb not to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> said he likes to have jumper cables attached to his nipples and get shot. Oh shit! Really? Like a pig. That's what my boy said. That's interesting. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah i didn't know this no it's true get this on main yeah we'll get this on the main account let's throw this at the top of the episode will they will they post this on main no i would love if they did they're too scared though they're too scared of the nfl they taylor are. swift industrial complex yeah they are all they want to do is pump out positive shit about it that's why my brother jack mac is getting silenced yeah because he wants to tell the truth the chiefs are two and oh as swifties isn't that like the bio of the NFL Instagram account? That's yeah. crazy. Two and another Swifties. This is a this is a sports podcast SNL. now. I know. I saw that. Big crazy, things. Crazy. All right. Should we wrap it up? What are we at? Pass it now. All right. Thank you guys for listening. Uh, we'll be back on Wednesday for a live podcast with Francis Ellis. Are, uh, are Nick and KB going to be here? No. I think that's next week, isn't it? No, they're here Wednesday. Oh, shit. And Nick and KB maybe as well. That'd be great. Awesome. All right. We'll see you guys then. Bye.